Hello and welcome to Release Radar. I'm James and this is your weekly update from the world of games and entertainment. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? A collaboration between Capcom and Nintendo brought Resident Evil to the GameCube. And as of May 21st, you'll be able to play Resident Evil Remake, Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil 4 on Nintendo Switch. Which means you'll be able to take all the chilling moments with you to the sunny beach, poolside or wherever you fancy. Maybe there is something wrong with Brandon. Burn Bright will lure you back to the superpowered side with a dark twist on the Superman story. Here, a couple takes in a mysterious child who appears to have special abilities and a nasty temper. Then things get weird. Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn is one of the producers, and Elizabeth Banks and David Denant star. Sega's speedy mascot is back with his pals in Team Sonic Racing, a colourful arcade racer with some new twists. Instead of only looking out for number one, you'll choose a team of three contestants before you hit the track. Although, if our review is anything to go by, you're going to really need to love Sonic and kart racing to pick this one up. Here we are at the last table read. It's like looking around and seeing your family. The epic show might be over, but HBO is attempting to fill that gaping hole in our lives with a documentary, Game of Thrones The Last Watch. And honestly, if I was one of the crew, I'd want to shout about it too. Whatever your thoughts on the show's finale, the documentary will be a fascinating look at what went on behind the scenes. Dauntless has served its time in open beta, and it's finally getting an official release on PS4, Xbox One and PC. It's a free-to-play, pretty-to-look-at take on the Monster Hunter formula, with players working together to hunt down massive behemoths. If you haven't checked it out yet, you can play 50 levels of content on BASIC for free. So that's what's on our radar this week. Let us know what you're doing in the comments below, and pop back next week for yet another update.